And new tonight, we're hearing of a Baltimore student who was robbed yesterday at Kip Elementary. The student was only 13 years old. Real Creighton spoke with the family and has full details. Well, Baltimore City Schools police do confirm that they did respond to an incident at the school, but that is also part of what is fueling this family's anger. They say that it came a day too late. This was a child, a student whose life they claim was threatened, who was robbed right next to his school. And the day it happened in response, they say they saw very little action. He grabbed my arm and I said, get off me. And then he grabbed my book bag. A 13 year old boy describing his encounter in front of his school. He tried to tell me to take my watch off and I said no. And a boy came right there and he said, if you don't take that city off, you're going to die. Where are you thinking when you hear that? I was going to die. Thomas eyes in the watch. Or Shea Powell, the boy is on. If he didn't take that watch off, what could have happened? Still I emotional after she says she saw it all unfold. There for pickup, dismissal at Kip Elementary and Middle, just in time, she says, to see her nephew robbed of his watch in broad daylight. Her eight year old son in tow also shoved. Outside the school, she says, by two boys wearing ski masks. I, I thank God <laughs> that I was there, you know. Fiance Larry Wallace also watching and sprang into action. And I grabbed the young man. I said, hey, stop. Basically, I, I like. Tackled him down. Wallace says he chased the boys and retrieved the watch within minutes, all inside to inform the school. No safety. Tears turned outrage after a conversation with the principal. He said, mentioned to me that there's nothing they can do because it didn't happen on school grounds. I said, I witnessed it. I watched it happen directly where this child is supposed to dismiss it. Wednesday, this letter sent to parents saying a student was confronted by several youth across the street. They went on to say who attempted to take his belongings. They're working closely with school police to investigate. Right here. It was basically right here. The family showing us the proximity on the sidewalk right next to the field, insisting this was an on-campus robbery. Yet police never called, parents never warned, they say, until a day later after they demanded it from school officials. You did nothing. Meantime, but a 13-year-old who still can't shake, what happened? I don't want to come back to this school. Well, I don't feel safe. Now, we did also reach out to Baltimore City Schools tonight to see if the district has a response to this. Meantime, the family says because there was no description taken of the suspects yesterday when they say the robbery happened, they were afraid for parents and students today that those thieves could come back. Reporting in Baltimore, Riel Creighton, Fox 45 News.